It's a 54 Dodge Mayfair convertible. Uh, it was built on the Plymouth production line in the United States, actually, for export to Canada and to overseas. They only built a few of these cars. Uh, there were 179 Dodge Mayfair convertibles produced, total production. It would have been quite a treat to see back in 54. A lot of people that were around at that time don't recall ever seeing a Mayfair convertible when it was new. So it was uh, limited production then and, and it's very rare today. I believe there's three known to exist at the present time. There's this one, there's one in Alberta in a museum and one in British Columbia. This 1954 Dodge Mayfair convertible represents the end of a very long journey for Rod Richards. When he acquired it back in 1990, it was in good shape, but far from great shape. It took five years of restoration, a labor of love, but mostly just labor. Well, I've been around antique cars since I was about 14 years old. I've owned several antique cars over the years. And uh, this was the latest restoration. And uh, it was done through help of friends, and, uh, and uh, it was a great experience. Well, the Mayfair was the top of the line Dodge automobile in Canada. Uh, Dodge Mayfair sedans were built in uh, Windsor, Ontario, as well as two-door hardtops and station wagons. But it was the top of the line for Dodge in 54 in Canada. It was the first year for power steering. It's called full-time power steering. Power steering pump is run off the generator off the car. And it's, it's quite easy to drive, it's a pleasure to drive, and it can maintain highway speeds. It's kind of unique in 54, it was the first year for power steering, first year for tinted windows all around. It has uh, blue tinted windows uh, on the sides as well as the windshield. Um, it has, uh, has a unique transmission, it's called a high drive transmission. Uh, basically, it's a semi-automatic transmission. You use the clutch to put it in high gear, and you drive all day like an automatic. You don't have to shift any gears whatsoever. If you uh, put the car in reverse, you have to use the clutch and put it in reverse. It's uh, hooked up to a standard three-speed transmission, which is driven by a uh, turbine in front of the transmission using the engine oil to drive that turbine. It's quite unique, and they only offered it in 53 and 54, and partway through 54, they dropped it for fully automatic transmission. Driving a convertible, of course, in uh, Canada, you got to be ready for the inclement weather, and the top is relatively easy to put up. Just a flick of the switch, and the power top raises the roof. The roof was reproduced by a, a fellow in New Jersey who uh, remanufactures convertible roofs and he has the original uh, patterns, and uh, he was able to produce in the exact material that the car came with new. That's all there is to it. We've competed in the Antique Automobile Club of America at their uh, largest event each year, which is Hershey, Pennsylvania. In Johnstown, Pennsylvania, it achieved a senior award, and at Hershey again the following year, it achieved what's called a first preservation. So it's won all the awards it can, basically, in the Antique Automobile Club of America. Well, we get a lot of thumbs up. We get a lot of people uh, saying it's a beautiful car. Uh, a lot of people love the color of the car. Uh, especially women, I find, make a lot of comments. They, they just fall in love with the color, and I think the color really sets the car off. In 54, Dodge and Plymouth came out with some uh, bright colors, some interesting colors for the convertibles, primarily. And this one's called San Pedro Blue. And they, they had about five different colors that were available for the convertible that year, and they were all bright and unique. And it was kind of interesting because the previous year, they were mostly plain uh, colors, darker colors, and very conservative. I have a soft spot for Chrysler products, yeah. I've owned quite a few over the last 20-odd uh, years. Uh, before that, I, I had a lot of old Fords, and um, I switched over to Chrysler products in the, in the 70s. And haven't looked back.